The problem with our previous watch was that it's quite an awkward display. It scrolls across the hours and then shows the minutes. But it also has another problem, and that is that it's taking time to do all that processing under the uh, wait for one second. And that's going to increase right throughout the day. So we're going to be lucky if we're going to be out by perhaps um, 30 seconds a day. Let's see if we can make a much more accurate watch. And we're going to do this uh, on the Chrome browser. Go to the uh, makecode.microbit. We start a new project. And um, this is my sixth version of the watch. So I'm going to call it watch number six. And again, we start off with um, two blocks. We'll do what we did before. That is, we're going to use button A and B. So we just duplicate button A there. And we then select button B. And we'll let them do the same things. But we're going to introduce a couple of new additional uh, concepts here. The first one is we're going to get a much more accurate watch by using uh, faster processing called machine language processing. And um, someone else has done this for us, but we're going to use that. And the way we do it is we go to advanced and um, go to extensions right at the end of advance, a whole series of new functions will open up a whole series of new blocks. And uh, what we do is that we're going to select what's known as a real time clock. So we type in R T C for real time clock. And we have a look at what extensions there are. And the one we're going to select is a software one, which is right on the bottom. And it says software based real time clock. And when we click on that, it's going to download the extensions and install those in extensions into um, make code. And if you look down here, see if you can find the extensions. Here they are, time and date. So just click on that. And here are the functions, the basic functions you can perform. You can set the time, either a 24-hour clock or a AM and PM clock. You can set the date and the month, uh, and you can get the time. And there's uh, another group under more, which are all down here. So um, the first thing we're going to do is that um, we're going to think about our program. And we want to do, as we did before, we're going to um, reset. And previously, we did that at start. But we're going to introduce another concept, and that's function. So we're going to make a function called reset. And um, we just drag that across. We've got a new function here. We'll drag it under here, and we'll call it reset watch. SCT. W A T C H. And uh, this is where we set it to um, zero seconds, zero minutes, and 16 for the number of hours. So this time we're going to use the functions under the time and the date. And we just drag those across and we set hours to 16 minutes to zero, and we're going to use a, um, well, we've got an AM clock, so let's set it to PM. And instead of 16, we should set that to um, four. Okay, so we're, that's all we have to do to reset it for 4 PM. And, um, when we, uh, what else can we do? Well, we can display, the show the time, and we're going to use another function to do that. 
So we make a function and um, we select that and we put that function just under here. And we're going to call it show time. And we just type in show time, capital T I M E. I've got a spelling mistake there. S H O W T I M E, show time. Now, here we just simply go back to our um, time and date set of blocks and um, we get the time. See if we can get the time. Here it is here. And that grabs all the variables. So time as a number. And we grab that whole one down and we click it under the function. And here we're going to um, show the hours on our LED array. So show the numbers, bring it down. And um, under variables, we should have now new variables of day, hours, minutes, months, seconds, and year. So the first one we want to do is show the um, show the hours. So we just grab the hours and bring it down. Now in the middle one, we're going to have a hot a um, a separator, and we just bring the st string block in, and instead of hello, we're going to put in a colon. And we're going to repeat the first one. So we just duplicate that one. But instead of hours, we're going to show the minutes. So there we are. Uh, and we can call these functions from any of the other blocks. Now, um, when we, we've got a couple of other functions to do. And the first one is we're going to use our button A and B to do as we did before, and that is to increase or decrease the number of minutes. So um, what we do, we go back to our um, time and date, and we're going to, um, under time and date, we uh, select time as we just as we did before, time as numbers, and bring that under under a. Okay, so uh, the next thing we need to do is to um, set the time. Go back to our numbers. And we're going to set the time, we're going to adjust the time, and we're going to use the same block that we used to reset the watch. But this time, we're going to put in the current hours. And we, we're going to change the minutes by one. So we just do a bit of maths on that. So we bring in the maths block, and this increases the minutes, and what we want to do in here is increase the minutes by one. So we go to variables, pick minutes, and increase the minutes by one. And we take that whole, the way to take the whole thing is go into the middle. If you go to each end, you'll just grab the, the sub component or the component inside. So we grab the middle one, and instead of the 30, we're going to replace that now with minutes plus one. So when we press button A, we're going to do a function under set time as a number, and we're going to keep the hours, but increase the minutes by one. And we're going to call this function over here, show time. So what we do is um, go to functions, We've got two functions and we bring, grab the new function we've just created of show time. So we've done everything we want to for A and we can duplicate that for button B. 
So we've now got two copies of A. We're going to make that into B. And we're instead of um, increasing the time, uh, the minutes by one, we're going to reduce it by one. So we go into the middle area. And now when we press button B, we're going to adjust the minutes, decrease that by one, then show the time. Now, what else are we going to do? Well, let's do something new. And um, we'll do a similar thing for hours, but this time we're going to use the accelerometer. Uh, let's see if we can find that. So if we look at the input, we've used button A and B, and there's some other ones that we could use down here. Uh, so um, since we've got, oh, we've got some more, see if we can find one which is uh, suitable. Okay, so um, we can't find, oh, we've got, how about the shake one? We'll bring that across. And instead of shake, what we're going to do is that when we tilt right, we're going to increase the hours by one. So everything that we've got previously for increasing, we can copy all that and just drag it down. But instead of um, minutes here, we're going to uh, swap that one. So we'll change that to minutes. And we'll change that to hours. And we'll put that in here. So we change the hours by one. And we keep the minutes just as they were. And we could also improve this by keeping the seconds just as they are too. Because we're, we're only going to just adjust it. Or uh, we'll bring the seconds in both cases to, um, to zero. Now... <clears throat> We can duplicate that, but we'll select tilting it to the left. So tilt to the right, tilt to the left. And that means when we tilt our micro bit, the accelerometer will activate this block when you tilt it to the left. So instead of incrementing the hours, we decrement them. We just subtract one from the hours. So this time, uh, oh, and what we'll do is we'll also um, show the time to make sure that's the time that we want. So we'll um, call the time again, we duplicate that, and we just put that just right under and just separate the two of those. So um, basically we've um, done everything that we want to, but we might do another one. And that's uh, reset it back to, to the um, initial time. So when we press go back to basic or to input, and we're going to select a combination now of when you press button A and B together. And what we're going to do here is to reset, call the reset, go to the functions, and um, call reset. And it's going to do the things which are under here, and that is set it back to four o'clock and then show the time just as we had over here. So we can go back to functions and get the other block, drag it under A plus B, and we've now got another function. And that um, gives us additional events. So we've got the event A, B, and now we've got one for A plus B. And we've also got the um, events for when we tilt it left and tilt it right. And if we want to see what the time is, we can go back to, um, to the inputs, go scroll right up on top, go to inputs and on shake. So when we shake our watch, we want to show what the time is. So go back to functions and uh, show the time and bring that down here. Okay, so we've got quite a few um, new functions 
So we've got button A, button B, button A and B, and we've got tilt right, tilt left, and we've got shake. And this is our new watch. So all you've got to do now is just download it, press the download button, and have a look at the file explorer. And if you look at downloads, you should have um, the last one should be your latest uh, version. And then you just drag that into the micro bit, which would appear here, but I haven't got it connected at the moment. So see if you can construct this watch, and is it more accurate than the previous one? And are there any um, adjustments to the program that you would like to make? And that's all uh, for this version of the clock.